My name is Gianluca Zanna. I was an Italian by birth and I became an American by choice. Our lives and freedoms are in danger. This is not a dream. If you're listening to this broadcasting, you are the resistance. Welcome to Love, Guns and Freedom. Here we go guys and girls, another Sunday, another show. You're listening to Love, Guns and Freedom with Luca Zanna on K-Talks 1340 AM and on United States FM network. Now, I already said that once. Many people ask me, what is this United States FM network? Now I tell you. United States FM is a website. It's my website, www.unitedstates.fm. But more important, it's a network of other websites like-minded, could be your website, could be any website. If you have a website, and if you believe in what I'm trying to do here, have a platform for freedom of speech, where I take no side but the truth, or at least what I think in good faith is the truth. Don't get me wrong, I made mistakes too, okay? But at least I try my best. I'm here, I don't want to ponder for anybody else but the truth, and of course I believe in the foundation of the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and the US Constitution and sovereignty of a nation, America. That's where my beliefs. So if you believe in what I believe, even if sometimes we have disagreement, doesn't matter, but we have the common, let's say, beliefs together. And you have a website, I would like to give you the opportunity and also the help, ask you for the help to share my show. I will send you a link that you can post on your website and you can going to have lifetime, my show rebroadcast every time people open your website opens the website so that's the idea and i have by the way many many more website many many web websites that are joining so that's beautiful it's an independent network of uh, multimedia websites that rebroadcast the show simple as that and then of course you have 1340 am k talks that i really want to thank by the way and i want to spend two seconds here i know it's been a new ownership the last year or so and that there's been some changes some been some criticism at least uh, the point is at the end of the day, this is still a private business. If tomorrow the owner tells me, uh, by the way, Luca, I don't like what you're doing, doesn't need to give me any explanation. This is his toy. He puts the gas at the end of the month and he decides what he wants to do. No hard feelings. Seriously. I have no right to even bitch about it because this is his toy. At the end of the month, he puts gas. I may have agreement or disagreement with him. I don't know. That's not even the point. I know that I don't work for him. I do my own show and it allows me to syndicate the show through the station and I appreciate it. Now, one thing I want to tell you though, I am pretty controversial as you know. I think I talk about things that probably no many other commercial stations in the area or forget about the area, in the state for sure, even can think. You think can we think about the private Federal Reserve like we do? About the corruptions, about the alleged corruptions, about anybody. I can come here on the show and talk about a potential state senator like a state representative Sonny Borelli, the things that I say. And I'm not trying to get against him. I have not a personal against him. I just tell you things that from a professional point of view, this is not anything against anybody personal. When I come on the show, I have no personal agenda. I don't hate anybody. Sometimes I have um, some of these people that I may also be a little harsh. I like them as a people, as persons. But as politicians, I have my duty as a member of, a, I don't even want to call myself a journalist because I am not a journalist. I'm a commentator. But I tell you what I think. And if you are here on the public, uh, let's say, though, you're working for the public or with our tax dollar, well, I will tell you what I think for sure, regardless if we are friends or not. That's the bottom line. So I was saying this because I really believe regardless the change, uh, at least for me, the fact that I'm still on the air and I'm, I've been talking about the last year and a half about very controversial things, seriously. By the way, I'm getting close to my anniversary, almost three years on the air. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it myself. So that's what I'm saying. 
this is a very interesting format. Anything goes. You can talk about anything you want. I show it to you. A few weeks ago, I had this lady from Havasu. She's a great lady, you know, but she was making fun about some things about me and she did a great, uh, uh, let's say, satirical uh, YouTube. And I wasn't trying to shut her down just because uh, some people may look at this like offensive. That's called freedom of speech. I'm on the air. I'm ready to take it. If you something you want to say about me, of course, keep families away. We have all in one rule. We comply, you know, two rules. We comply with the FCC, so we don't cast, we don't say anything worse that we can be uh, fined because this station is still under FCC control, or at least, you know, regulations. And number two, families stay out. We have some honor here. If you want to fight with each other in the arena, the arena of the ideas, we can fight to death. And I'm talking about in the arenas of the ideas. But we always keep family members out. So don't touch my mom and I will be very civil with you. Otherwise, you will see another side of me. All right, now let's go back to interesting news. I always like when I see the underdog, I think that's the right the way you say in English, guys, that fights against the establishment, regardless the odds. I love the idea that Timo Avecani, we had the great elections, even with, uh, of course, not the results I, I was hoping. In many cases, you know, for example, supervisor level and state level, but regardless, we had fresh new blood. We know many resources, honestly, behind, but still, standing up, try to fight the establishment, the corruption, in my opinion, and the status quo. So that's, for me, really where the peaceful revolution start, starts. When the regular people will do exceptional things, and they're not going to more cry over it. No, it's time to do it, because nobody else is going to do it but you. Now, I had on my show several times a gentleman from California that probably has been one of my first listeners three years ago, and uh, he, he will tell you. And I tell you, I never thought that I would be so sympathetic with a Democrat. <laughs> because that's the, this man is not a Democrat. This man is an American first, and then the party comes after. And that's why I, I respect people. If you're a Republican or if you're a Democrat, you always should bring, or libertarian, you should always bring the truth and honor, and more, more important, you know, America first, not your party. And that's the people I really like and, and support. Even, of course, on this show, I don't support anybody officially. I, I, I will give everybody the opportunity to do it. But I tell you, between me and you, yes, I like Ronald. Even sometimes we have our little differences, even of, of economics or some social things, social programs. You know, I'm more of a libertarian. He's more of whatever. But I don't care. I respect Ronald. Ronald O'Donnell is running for the California State Senate. And I can't believe it. A miracle. He won the primaries against the other guy, the big guy of his own party. And there is a lot of drama going on still. And I had him a few weeks ago. And many things are happening meanwhile. And I wanted to have him back because he has some breaking news. Ronald, are you there? Yes, I am, Zana. Okay, man. It's such a great opportunity again to speak with you. You know, you are really, I think, one of my first listeners, I must tell you. Is it true? Hey, Ronald, are you there? Yeah, I was looking on my um, page, and I, I saw that today is the second anniversary of my first show with you, to wow. the date. Wow. On 2014. Wow. And, uh, yes. And, <laughs> and we were talking about bank fraud then. Yes. And two years later, we we're going to talk about bank fraud today. Yes. And also now, you know, you are... You have great chances. I mean, you won the primaries in in uh, in your party uh, to to be probably the maybe or hopefully I say the next uh, California state senator for your district. In which district are you running for? Well, this is District Twenty Three, which is the desert, Riverside County, San Bernardino counties. Um, they go um, from big bear to lake arrowhead to lake elsinore to hammett to corona to fontana to rialto san bernardino redlands you type i almost have them off by heart by now because i've been to every district wow and uh you find i mean this is uh you're really you have a fresh shot here because if you made it the primaries against the opponent that was pretty much the chosen by the party 
And uh, yeah, you, he was anointed. He was anointed by yeah. the, the Democrats. And let's remind how much you had as uh, your you know war chest fund uh, for your elections. How much money did you have? Oh my God, I was loaded. I had I think five hundred at the time. Five hundred what? Thousand dollars? No, no, five hundred dollars. <laughs> I, I don't have that many zeros in my pocket. <laughs> so five hundred dollars. You won the primaries against uh, the opponent at, at for sure. How much you think? I mean, since there are public records, how much he had uh, in in his uh, pocket? Well, I'm not sure how much money he had, but he had the entire Democratic machine behind him. Wow! And there's no amount of money you can put on that when they're talking him up and uh, promoting him and promoting him through. He's a radio station general manager. Wow! You know, he's um, the vice chair of the Democratic Party here. So he had all that going for him, and I beat him uh, two to one. I got 51,000 votes. Wow. He only got 26,000. Oh, my God. This is hurt. That really hurts. It must <laughs> That really, was ouch. That's ouch. I mean, it's more, it's, 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 uh, you, I mean, I would feel very bad uh, as a human being after, especially the way they treated you, you know, because it's not just uh, having a fair, let's say, elections you know let the best man or woman win now they really hated you they did some dirty tricks and i tell you for what you tell me at least what you told me and then to have these results when no money can buy at that point and normally money i tell you can brainwash a lot of people out there but they couldn't do it with you i mean that was amazing i think i'm the only one in the entire state that pulled this off yeah honest I've been trying to find anyone else that was able to do it, and I, there, and I mean in the last 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Not no. just, you know, this election. I mean ever. And what exactly is the fact that they hated you so much, in your opinion? Why they, the Democratic Party is afraid of you? Because I will not follow the party line, especially when it comes to this issue of illegal foreclosures, and bank and fraud. I spoke up about the Muslims killing 26 people in San Bernardino and wounding in another 10. No one else wanted, was allowed to talk about it because they didn't want to be offensive. Now, I said these guys were under surveillance by the FBI for three years. Three years. Are you there? Yeah, yeah I'm listening. Oh, okay, because I, 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 I think we had someone listening in. The echo just went away. Well, I'm sure somebody but else is listening too, by the way. On. Then we will talk about that. I have some uh, ear, strange clicks. Um, uh, go ahead. Let's finish. Now I can ask you something. Go ahead. But here's what, what my point is, and I've been trying to say, and you were one of the, I think you're the only show that let me talk about it. Well, that's true. You are the only one. Uh, that's why I respect you and K Talks deeply. It's because for three years, the FBI knew that these people were planning something. Um, there was a third party involved. Uh, he was a Hispanic guy, their best friend. They found weapons, and I mean, when I'm saying weapons, I mean to say bombs, okay? Homemade bombs, you know, um, what do they call them, IEDs? He had them in his house. He had them, the guy in. Uh, is the third party that wasn't there. Um, he had them, and everybody knew it, but no one told anyone. I mean, somebody should have said something. You know, and you know, they'll say anything else, but we're not allowed to be offensive because it would look like we're, you know, offending the Muslim community. They just built a new multi million dollar uh, mosque here, you know. And the only restriction on them was that they were not allowed to do their broadcasts like they do in. The Middle East, you know, with the loudspeakers at prayer mm -hmm. time. Yeah. But I mean, everything else pretty much falls in line. And you see all these, um, you know, Muslim people, I'm sorry, uh, but coming over to this country, they're on welfare. Uh, they have five wives. We pay for all the wives. Um, we give them a free house. We give them food stamps for them and their family and all their wives' as families. They don't have a job. They pray all day. And we have to support them. And now they want to bring another 700,000 into this country. Thank you, Hillary Clinton. Mm. So you, you are...
Let me something because you, I read some a post uh, on uh, your Facebook. Pretty breaking news, in my opinion, because you, after all, you are a registered Democrat running for the Democratic Party, California State Senate. So that's your party. But tell me about this breaking news. Are you going to vote for Hillary or not? Well, I announced publicly that I'm not going to vote for Hillary, that I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. Wow. And that's a Republican, if I recall. But it isn't because of the Democratic or par Party loyalty. I am very loyal to the Democratic Party, so much that I can't vote for Hillary Clinton. Yeah. You know, and That's how much I care about being a good Democrat. I agree. You know, this is exactly what I beg uh, everybody out there. If you're a Republican or if you're a Democrat, you cannot f fall for these traps. For example, if you're a Republican now, and you know that McCain is a pure scam. It, 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 yep. I mean, seriously, I mean, you were supporting the other candidate that, uh, you know, supposed to be better than McCain. At least he didn't have a chance to do all the damages that McCain has been doing the last 30 years. And all these people, they've been denouncing McCain, say the right things finally. You know, I've been saying these things probably at least seven years ago, at least. And now people finally see it. But now because the party machine says, this is our man, he's going to be better than the other one. Guess what? How can you go out there and drink that Kool-Aid and vote for the piece of garbage called Senator McCain. Seriously. Well, on that note, on that note, I just want your listeners to know this, because this is the truth. I was never involved in politics. I didn't know how the game worked. I didn't know anything. I'm 65 years old. I only jumped into this state Senate race because of the issue of illegal foreclosures, the issues of bank fraud. No one's talking about it, even on a national scale. No one's talking about it. But I want to remind you, you just said something that's incorrect, Zana. You said that no one knew that uh, McCain was a crook and was, uh, you know, um, nefarious. And I'm saying, I'm here to tell you, remember the Keating 7. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Silver Auto Savings and Loan. Jeb Bush's brother. Mm-hmm. Neil Bush had to sign a statement when that savings and loan collapsed. Um, remember that governor went to prison. Mm -hmm. um, Neil, Neil Bush signed a, a, a plea bargain because his dad was the head of the CIA and at that time the president of the United States. And John McCain was part of the Keating 7. Yeah. And that was the failure of Silver Auto Savings and Loan back in the 80s. So we've always known that, but at the party doesn't want you to say that yeah. they're the republicans remember yeah and this is just a, one of the many things i mean this is not just like oh my gosh over you know, and over on and every over. aspect the lies are incredible yeah i mean and then like, people whatever and this is just the point i was making not because i want to talk now about mccain we were talking about hillary but it's the same Wait. story how can you go out there as an american i don't care which party you are even if you're a democrat after you know that the party the high level of the party, they completely corrupted your primaries. They treat you like a bunch of kids, a bunch of idiots. You got the proof. And then Bernie sells out at the Democratic National yes. uh, Committee um, election and just withdraws mysteriously. Yes. And leaves like 20 million followers yeah. just standing there with their jaws dropped uh -huh. after he collected a hundred million dollars and he bragged $26 yeah. a donation. Yeah. He never asked those 20 million people no. for permission to withdraw. He didn't, how could you do that and let your own people down like that? That did the rallies for him and did all the work for him. He didn't do anything. He just got up there and talked how many hundreds and maybe thousands of people poured their hearts out for him. Exactly. You and know, believed in him because of the promises that he made. And then within a day, yeah. he endorses Hillary. Mm -hmm. How much did he get paid for that? Well, maybe he was threatened, but regardless, the point is, uh, as an American... Well, it's either silver or lead. Or maybe both. That's normally what the mafia yeah. does. They give you the offer you cannot silver refuse. Exactly. And by the way, did you, heard about, did you hear about that top attorney in the DNC fraud case is dead. Uh, there was the, his, you know, it was an attorney who supported Sen Senator Bernie Sanders and he was suing for all this sort of irregularity. He was suing against, uh, you know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Schultz yeah, and uh, yeah. the, the, the DNC. And he worked the, for a law firm. Mm -hmm. He was not the attorney that wrote the documents. He was the 
process server that had the guts to go into the Democratic headquarters and deliver it. Yes, you got served. And how did he die, yep. this man? I'm just curious. I, mean, I, I read something about it, but if mysteriously died after he served at DNC. Bottom face floor in a bathroom. Wow. So bathroom, my, public bathroom floor. Yeah, I mean, everything's possible. Of course, there are a lot of coincidences, but regardless, let's look at the facts. And well, as wait, a, Zana, we're counting, and he's number 164 so far. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, you know, that's not news. Yeah, and by the way, I'm not laughing because it's funny. This is serious. I know, I know. It's, the you number's know. incredible. And I tell you, uh, you know, I'm nobody. I'm here on this little local uh, radio show. Even, of course, we have more and more listeners on the Internet than ever. But I tell you, this is not a game. And what you're doing, it is not a game. You may create exactly the ripple effect of uh, what they're really fearing. It's regular people like you getting involved into the system, becoming part of the machine, regardless if you're Democrat or Republican or whatever. But you want to do it through that process. And then when people finally realize that you're a real person, you don't take orders from top, but you take orders from your consciousness. You know, and at that point, they are afraid because you have even now a chance that people are listening to you and they may start to follow you and support you. You may also win. You're going to shake them out and they're afraid that's why i really believe you gotta really watch yourself a little bit because uh, you are a very bad president i also believe that uh, you know for example every time i talk to you especially for the our conversations my phone lines start to get kind of weird then I, <laughs> and then i hear beeps and then i hear different things tell me a little bit what happened because i don't want to be into conspiracies but i know that something may be going on what did you find out you've been hacked a few times since we talk right Okay. For your listening audience, I want to just recap. Mm -hmm. The first show we ever did, I was suing Chase Bank for credit cards, credit card fraud. Mm -hmm. Because I realized early on that the fraud that they were doing using the credit cards, they were never caught, so they extended it to their home loan program. Mm. So the home loan fraud is not some new business um, technology they discovered. They had been using it with credit cards since the, in the 1990s. I caught them. As a result of that lawsuit, I've never gotten my dime yet, but they stopped, halted 600,000 credit card collection cases. Wow. That put a dent yeah. in their pocket. Yeah. So that relieved 600,000 people across the country from being defrauded. Not one word in the news. Wow. Hey, and I have something for you today. Mm. You'll like this. It was on CNN. Um, and it was uh, the federal regulators said Wells Fargo employees secretly created millions of of unauthorized bank and credit card accounts without the customer's consent. Wow, that's huge. Only since 2011. Wow. Now, this is on CNN, but it's not on their news channel. It's on their um, money blog. And here's what it says. I'm reading it. I'm going to send it to you. Yes. Wells Fargo confirmed to CNN Money that it had fired... 5,300 employees over the last few years related to the shady behavior. Did you hear that? Yes. 5,300 employees have been fired over the last couple of years since wow. I started my campaign here. Yeah. No wonder they hate me. Yeah. No wonder my phone's tapped. No wonder uh, my computer's hacked. No wonder my printer is on the cloud somewhere that I never asked for it to be. They even sent me a courtesy um, iCloud identification number, which I never even requested. Let's, so let's, let's explain this that. Show is being monitored. Let's explain one Your second. Radio show. Let's explain the printer. This is something people don't understand. The printer is like its own brain, and it connects to the cloud, and they can find out everything you're printing. Is that correct? Well, what is, it's worse than that. Even the paper that you buy mm -hmm. has a dot on it. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, a micro dot. 
Jeez. that identifies where you purchased it, um, what the name of the company was, what the brand is, et cetera, et cetera. It, it, it traces you. There's a dot that you can't see. You look at a piece of paper, any, any sheet, and you'll always see a dot somewhere. I mean, you guys are thinking I'm nuts, but I know what I'm talking about. Look mm -hmm. at this. Yeah. I mean, employees went so far as to create phony PIN numbers and fake email addresses to enroll customers in online banking services. The uh, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau chief said, his name's Cordroy. So it took intervention from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to get this news out because he made a public statement today. And by the way, this is today's news. Wow. wow. And it was only forced out to the public because of Richard Cordray, who I start, when they started the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, I was one of the very first ones supporting him. A lot of people don't know that before he was the, um, uh, you know, appointed to be the head of the uh, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, that that actual whole entire, entire concept came from Elizabeth Warren. That's why I had early on supported her, because it was, you know, a workable program, and she designed it. <laughs> but then she sold out to Hillary. Yeah. yeah. But here's the problem. Look at this. Can you just imagine? Now, this is one bank, Zana. And for you listening audience, I didn't say a couple hundred accounts. I said 5,300 employees have been fired. I said millions of accounts are out there in your names, folks. If you have a Wells Fargo account, you have another one you don't know about in the cloud. Wow. So if you're in uh, Kingman and you, you have a checking account, you got to write them a letter and say, hey, are there any other accounts with my name on them? And then report it to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau for free. You can do it online for free and make an inquiry. And um, you can go right online, one paragraph. I'd like um, Wells Fargo to respond. Did they ever open one of these accounts for me without my permission or consent? Because you've, got, you've already got to see how that can be hurting your credit score. Uh, and there may be that day when someone says, hey, pay up. Yeah. And then you get a letter in the mail from a collection agent, a collection attorney, saying, hey, you owe $10,000 over here on your Wells Fargo account. You said, that wasn't mine. Oh, bull. Wow. You've had it for 10 years. This is so bad. This is so huge. I mean, I can't hard to yeah, believe listen, it. Today's news. Wells Fargo is being slapped. And why I love it, it's two years to the day from our first show together, where I said two years ago, today's the 8th, in 2014 on your show, and I have a copy of it, that I was suing Chase Bank for this. And they, you know, stopped the 600,000 cases. Now, two years to the date, to the date, Zana, our anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like that? Yeah. To the date, um, now we have Wells Fargo employees, 5,300 fire, fired. And the number's almost the same. It's 565,443 credit card accounts. That, that's about the same 600000 as Chase Bank. The only problem is there's four other major banks doing this, and we haven't gotten them yet. But for your listening audience, why am I so emphatic about this? Notice it's not on the news. You have to go to uh, Love, Guns, and Freedom show with Luca Zana to hear this kind of news. Honestly, no. I, should... I learned it from you because I didn't know myself, and I'm glad that I have you just because of this information. This is so important. I mean... People don't understand. This stuff is not just some uh, uh, gibberish language. This is how they can destroy your life, how they can destroy your credit, how legally they can completely, legally, illegally, because technically there is, it's under color of law. But when you are a person, you know, working nine to five, how can you fight a machine when you don't even have the money to pay for an attorney to defend yourself? So this right. is... Right, this, right. We're going to get into that topic in a second. You know? I just want to, I want to finish this little statement here. Go ahead. It says, related story. ATM and overdraft fees top six billion at the big banks so far this year. Wow, that's just three of the six. Oh, is... Do you see how scary this is? Behind your backs, people, there's this activity going on. Now, you want to know why I want to go to Sacramento? <clears throat> why they fear me? Yeah. Why they hate me? Why I almost had they tried to get me arrested not once, twice already. Yes. 
Um, it's because they were trying to stop me. And, of course, I expect I have 60 days left to find out who's going to win. And um, I'm sure they're going to go ahead and try to stop me doing it again. And um, they're going to hope to catch me drunk driving while I don't drink. Um, they're going to try to catch me doing something wrong. And I'm, do I'm, doing I'm going to stay clean as a whistle. So if you hear me dying, no, not wrong. But I didn't do that on purpose. I'll be body count 165. I have a list of 164 I'll share with anybody. Wow. But I wanted to share something with you folks out there. I have two customers um, in Phoenix, two in Kingman area, like Havasu, and um, two up in the Sedona area. And I'm only uh, saying that because I want to tell you a situation here. Uh, they went down to the legal clinic that's provided by the state of Arizona. Um, and remember, I have to keep them unnamed for their confidentiality. Mm -hmm. Where they were told, that they were told by the um, taxpayer paid for legal clinic that they could not defend themselves in court or have, or if they did, then that, then they can't get any help from anybody because that would be uh, practicing law without a license. That's what was said to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So it shocked them. It put a chilling effect on them being able to, you know, um, feel the freedom to, to defend yourself. <clears throat> what I'm saying is that is absolutely a lie. And to prove it, I have... For free, I'm going to pass out to anyone that wants it what is called the United States Circuit Court for the Ninth District Pro Se Handbook on how to file a, a, an action against someone by yourself without an attorney and how to defend against a lawsuit by yourself without an attorney I'm going to give this to, uh, it's about a 78-page blueprint of how the legal system works and what to do and how to serve the process and how to do everything without money. Do you have a, do you have a, a PDF file, something we can yeah, upload? Yeah, I do. And what I'm going to do, but there's one thing I'm going to make sure that they do. Mm -hmm. They have to buy the $29.99 Xana coffee package. <laughs> no, listed. least that. No, no, that's it. If I see that they bought the package... Then send it to me, and then it'll go through you, Zana, and I'll send it to them for free. Well, um, I sell those for about $79 wow. to attorneys. That's good. Free that's good. if they buy the coffee. Well, I appreciate Remember? it. Remember? I appreciate it very Karen much. Said, Karen said don't drink the coffee. She has other uses for it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, speaking about coffee for me. a moment, just to think a little bit, I, I appreciate your support. You got the package, the $29, three bags of coffee. You got the Rue 66 coffee. You got the uh, 1776 coffee and also the straight shot espresso. What did you start so far? What did you open so far? Well, here's why I'm saying this, uh, people, because we need shows like this all across America. And they cannot exist if there's no money coming in. I think what Zan is doing is supporting his show with coffee sales is uh, commendable. And if you if you want uh, this information and more that's free, um, just show a little bit of respect and a little bit of help for what you're learning today right here on this show. It doesn't cost you anything but a couple minutes of your time. And order that copy from Zan and make him successful so he can go, go ahead and move up and, and do bigger and greater things and get better guests. I mean, he's got some really quality guests now, and he's running on no budget. Oh, there is no budget. So least, I, I do it all. And I'm not trying to make a, a you know, crying baby here, but it's true. You know, for me, this is a, honestly, it was a, never a business. It was like a... Let's say an act of uh, of love. Uh, try to use uh, some of my spare time to try to do my duty as as an American. I try. And sometimes, as I said, it doesn't matter if we agree or not. I'm just trying to bring you facts and a platform that we can discuss everything, even things, especially things we don't agree. Maybe we can learn well, from each other. Look what we could do if we had some support. Look exactly. What I, I want to get to Sacramento. Okay. Yeah. Why do I want to go up there? It's 65 years old because I have an accounting degree. Um, from a community college. I have a bachelor's degree in economics. I have a doctorate degree in law, and they 
don't want me to look at their checkbook. And as a state senator, that's yes. where I'm walking. Very good. The first place I'm going, I'll be allowed to see the budget, to see the checks that went out, wow. to see who's getting the money. And they don't want me to look at that. Yeah. No, I'm telling you. It's, that could uh, get catchy. That could get catchy because if I find something, and I'm sure I will, they are too. They don't want it reported. They don't want anybody to know about that stuff. And they know I'm not the guy they can buy out at 65 because I don't care. Oh, listen, I'll pray I for you. Million. I pray for you, Ronald, because I tell you, what you're doing, it is, first of all, commendable, but I really, it's, 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 uh, not many people have the courage to do it. Many people have the courage to do it because uh, you already crossed the line. The fact now that you are really potential, I mean, look at this. You are now facing a Republican opponent. The primaries are over. You're supposed to have the support of your the, your party behind, and they don't give you anything. They hate you. I mean, they yep. show you how much they're afraid for of somebody like you that doesn't want to play game, doesn't want to play ball, doesn't want to follow the orders. But you're thinking with your own brain, with your own heart, with your own consciousness, and more important, you say a point out you don't care anymore what they tell you. If something's black, is black. Something's white, is white. If Hillary Clinton is a freaking criminal and she's a traitor, that's a fact. You know, you cannot drink that Kool-Aid and think, oh my God, she's a woman of the people. She's a great uh, leader. No, she's a fraud. She's part of the oligarchy. She's part like the Bush or like the McCain. Whatever it's wrong with the America in the last 50, 60 years. That's a fact. So you are well, finally. This? Let's go one step further. Yes. Just today, again, it was announced that remember the four hundred million that was shipped to Iran. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the twelfth installment. It wasn't the yeah. only ship or the only plane flight that ever flew in with cash. That was plane ride number twelve, and it turns out that there's been a total of over $1.2 billion yeah. that has been paid to Iran um, in the last year because Obama's doing what? He's going to be out. Yeah. So he's taking care of his friends in the Middle East. I mean, this is a uh, robbery. And that was without the knowledge of Congress, yeah. without the knowledge of any American citizen. He did it by presidential decree. Yeah. And he says, to hell with you guys, because nobody will enforce it. America's weak. America's looking down at their iPads. I say, look up at the sky. Look above you. Keep your chin up. Walk like a man. Act like a man. Don't be afraid of these people. Better to be shot standing up than to die on your knees. Yes. And you know, this and is so sad. the time to do it. Ronald, let me tell you something. You know, I feel sorry for every democrat out there that uh, when was bush they were very vocal and i was there you know when i was still a republic i was i was my god i couldn't stand the bastard because he was a complete fraud since day one okay not only an idiot but also was a, a evil man uh, so his father okay and that's a fact mr new world order but now when obama came to power he can do things that my god if bush you even dream to think about those things they don't even want to talk about it. And this is so sad because, you know, as you said, now, now just this thing that Obama has been doing, giving more than $1 billion to uh, Iran, this is money. They don't come out of thin air. Yes, they do because they print them out out of thin air. But we, the people. No, no, they had to, no, no. Iran would not accept American currency. We had to give it to them in French currency. Mexican currency, That's fine. Spanish currency, but the point because is because they won't accept American currency. Why it's traceable? Yes, and also because so was illegal. No was accountability. It, was illegal technically, but more important, we are still here paying the credit card one day, and that this is going to be on us. And is it just a little bit of of a drop in the ocean? What this man has been doing in the last eight years? I mean, right now we are almost twenty trillion dollars in debt, without counting yep. the interest. And this money will never be paid back. Never. Everybody knows it. Start yeah. uh, getting your food supplies. Start getting your ammunition. Start getting your um, tires for your car. Yeah. Start stashing away a little bit of cash, folks. I'm not. Um, I'm, I won't be surprised if it doesn't happen 
at election time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, something's yeah. happening. Now, listen, talking about election, you are 60 days ahead uh, for the final sprint. Uh, any feedback from your opponent? Uh, what is, first of all, let's say the name. What is the name of the Republican opponent you're facing? I don't like saying his name because I don't like to give him free publicity. But you know what? <laughs> but his name is Mike Morell. Yeah, you know, this is for me, honestly, it's better because I tell yeah, you. Yeah, that's his name. I know. I'm teasing. Everybody's going to know it. You, and I say, by the way, if he's listening to the show, I want him on the show. I would love to have you both on the show. You know, for me, this is an opportunity to give all of you, uh, the listeners, to make an accurate decision. You know, as much as, of course, I have my own personal respect for you. I, I don't endorse anybody here. All I want to give uh, you, the listeners, the opportunity to have the information to make the most accurate decision. That's all I want By to do. By the way, Mike Morrell is on the State of California Senate, I mean, yeah, Senate and Banking and Finance Committee hearings. Mm -hmm. He's the chair, and I would be replacing him. And wow. then, um, I would be on the uh, Banking and Finance Committee and replace you know him and look at those books he knows what i'm saying wow. but he can't say it he's not allowed to say it you know he, he i met mike and i looked him right in the eye i said you have a beautiful family you're a gentleman i said the, you know there's not anything i can say i will never uh say anything negative about you as a person because i like you i said but i just totally disagree with you on everything you're doing I don't think you're looking out for the United States of America first. You're looking out for whoever your banking interest, and they have they must you know you have a million five, and uh, you're not allowed to go ahead and talk against the bank. So someone yeah. has to, and that would be me. Yeah. Now this is now. Serious. By the way, this this uh, announcement today, Wells Fargo is being slapped with the largest penalty since the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was founded in 2011. Wow. The bank agreed to pay $185 million in fines, along with $5 million refund to these ghost customers. We regret and take responsibility for any instances where customers may have received a, um, well, I can't, I, I'm scrolling down and I went down too far. I don't, okay, I, that's I, okay. You know, they're just, uh, what I, I'm looking to see is, because my motto is jail the banksters. Mm -hmm. See, I think that when you commit fraud and forgery, and especially financial fraud, you need to do jail time. See, I don't mind 5,300 people getting fired, okay? I think 5,300 people should have done, you know, a little bit of time to show them what the inside of these places look like when you defraud a customer. How do you teach them if all they, they never uh, suffered any consequences, but they lost their jobs? Yeah. But, I mean, other than that, you know, um, there's a little bit further that needs to go with those 5,300 people. But they get to take the walk. You go down and uh, steal a pack of cigarettes from the local grocery store, 7-Eleven. You got six months, buddy. Yeah, it is true. Just for stealing a pack of cigarettes or grabbing a six-pack of beer and trying to hand out the door. Yeah. You're going to jail for a year for that. Yeah. Now, I go and I commit uh, felony, forgery, create fault false uh, credit card accounts in your name, I go ahead and I use them, and I go ahead and what I'm doing is I'm leaning your credit card information so that I can obtain credit, okay, individually, personally. That's um, identification fraud. That's 10 years. Not one of these people got any time. Um, and now you see why I'm so adamant about you know, pursuing this because it's not going to stop if no one's held accountable. Ronald, somebody's got to go to jail. Somebody's got to pay for these crimes. And this is exactly is why. Also, I think uh, what you're doing is is very important. You stepping out, leading the way, uh, exposing Hillary, because that's another example that we are not anymore under the rule of law. But the law, they are selectively. The laws are selectively enforced just for the slaves. Them. The, whatever they are, the bankers or this political elite, they are pretty much laughing at us. They can do whatever they want. And this is Watch wrong. This, Santa. Watch this. Hillary raised $240 million in the last four years from the Middle East mostly. Mm -hmm. Ah, and all of a sudden there's these shipments of money going in foreign currency into the Middle East. Okay. And it all was around that word, Benghazi, 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 Benghazi. 
um, which was not uh, where the um, embassy is in, in that country, Libya. It actually is in Tripoli. Benghazi was a weapons depot. What was the ambassador doing at the weapons depot 90 miles away mm -hmm. on that given night? Yeah. Doing a weapons exchange maybe for cash. So what I'm saying to you, the 30 missing emails that Miss Clinton just discovered three days ago, oh, my God, she said she turned them all in, were all related to Benghazi. Yes. They won't yeah. let, they won't, the FBI, the C, no, CIA, the FBI, the Justice Department won't release them until after the election. Why? Because yeah. then they got another eight years of continuing this um, circus and party that they have called Let's Drain the Swamp. And the name of the swamp is the United States Treasury. Yes. Yeah. And this is serious. We cannot afford another day of this. This country in eight years will be over. It will be dissolved. And there will be martial law in the streets. It will look like Venezuela. Yes. Now, you think I want to see that for my children and grandchildren? No. No. That's why, That's why I'm going to go in there, and I'm not quitting, and I'm asking your people to join me any way they can. If they don't have any money, just uh, take, our, take your show, this show, and pass it on all across the country. Yes. Tell yes. The, your friends know. Just say, here's, here's what's going on in California. It's a battle, and it's real. Yes, and that's why I commend you. And uh, you know, I really, you are the example. Of what I always was hoping in 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 uh, in the American people to stop following the orders for, from any party, but start to stand up for the principles of, of honesty, of truth, and more important, against corruption. That's it. Well, and they, if they buy your coffee, if they buy Zana's coffee, the the three packages for uh, twenty nine ninety nine. I want you to describe what it is. Not only am I going to give them the instructions that were approved by the U United States Circuit Court 9th District, which is for, let me tell you who it's for, the citizens of California, Arizona, Nevada, wow. Oregon, Washington, and Utah. That's the 9th District. There's no one higher than them than the United States Supreme Court. Wow. And this is their instructions as a gift to the people in the 9th District. It was written by law professors, it was approved by the Supreme Court, and no one knows about it. Interesting. Well, I'm going to give it to anyone if you buy the copy at Xanus, and I'm going to throw in something else, too. Wow. A that's... complimentary copy of the United States Constitution, and the First Amendment and the Second Amendment. First Amendment is the right for me to talk on this show, and this... for Xana to talk to me. Yes. And to tell the public what we're saying. And the Second Amendment is the right to have a gun so that if someone comes after me, I shoot them because I don't have to die needlessly. I'm not going down without a fight. Yes. Yeah. I'm I, not going on my knees. Lista Rollo. So if you want to come kill me, get ready. <laughs> Listen I've to me. I've got friends, too. Listen to me. I want to give everybody the opportunity to contact you. Please give again your website or Facebook or phone number, whatever people can do. This is serious, guys. I don't care if you are in Arizona or in Nevada or in California, Washington of course, even or better. Oregon. Or yeah. I have, I have, honestly, now I have people in New York, Florida, uh, Maryland, Pennsylvania, all over the country, Indiana. I'm uh, going on a radio show in Chicago. Wow. They called me. I didn't call them. Wow. They heard it somewhere through the grapevine. I guess your show. That's great but, because um, this is how we fight. You know, we get I get America back. We show him that we right. unite as Americans, and what we unite, we unite for freedom. We unite for honesty. We unite against corruption, and we break the barriers of the party. That's exactly how they keep us separate, and they can't control us. So never follow the orders from any party. And especially follow your art, follow your, your consciousness. And when we find somebody like Ronald O'Donnell that is trying to do the right thing, even if he lives in another state, that's how we're going to send a message and we send, uh, let's say, a, a dagger in the heart of the monster. We need to help each other, even if people are from other states. Or at least we should do that. Please give the website or anything where okay. we can contact you. You can find out uh, my contact information by contacting, well, one word. Foreclosure Ammunition, make sure you get the spelling right, dot com. 
And that's all you have to do is look it up. I have 12 free videos there for you to see. They're about half hour. And then there's uh, my workbook and things that I sell to um, in order to support myself in this endeavor for the last four years. Wow. And you don't have to buy anything, but the videos, I uh, hope that you'd look at them and uh, try to educate yourself a little bit and also, about this topic. Because this is going to be it, folks. Watch your 401ks next also. Yeah. And do not buy gold and silver. Mm. They keep telling you to. But I'm gonna. here's what I tell everybody. Okay, I got a $10,000 uh, silver bar, okay? Now, I'm out of gas, and I go to the gas station. Mm-hmm. And we're having problems. And I say, um, here's my $10,000 bar. That's all I got. Guy says, okay, I'll, I'll fill you up. And he said, well, what about the change? I said, we don't have any change. We'll hold it for you. How's that? You can come in and get gas anytime you want. Then they close down. Uh, you can that's buy coins. Problem. You can also buy well, one ounce coins. I mean, that's another way to honestly. Yeah. I like well, silver and you know coins. What? I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Yes. Every time I go to the store, here's my secret. You know, if I'm afraid to even say this, because this could really be a problem. And don't say, don't say things that you don't want to say, okay? Because I don't want to uh, put you also too much information about your things. I don't want to say that the people, they may know who you are. All I want to say yeah. is this. Go to lovegunsfreedom.com. There is a link, a little bit of a billboard I put down there to directly link into Ronald O'Donnell website, uh, O'Donnellforcalifornia.com. I'm not endorsing him. I'm not saying anything, but I tell you, he makes the news and I want to share his news. He's a man standing for the against the corruption of his own party, and he gets all my support in every way I can do it. That's a fact. I'm not shy about that. Ronald, I want to thank you again. Times, you know, we're almost out, and uh, I want to give you the last 60 seconds to close whatever you want to say. All right, I have a quote um, from, I believe it was Jesus Christ, when he said, my people perish for lack of knowledge 2,000 years ago. That hit me hard. I'm a Christian, former Catholic, but I remembered some of his teachings. So what is he saying with that to all of us is educate yourself, people. Go ahead and pick up the information you need to defend yourself. You, you can learn law. You can talk about law. It's not practicing law without a license to help your father keep his house. I had one of those already. Um, the son is uh, threatened by the trustee for um, standing up and talking in, to the judge because he's not an attorney. He said, no, I know. Um, I'm his son. It's my duty under the name of God to protect my father and my mother. That comes first. Yes. Yes. Then comes, I'm an American citizen, and then comes whether you're a Republican, a Democrat, I don't care what you are. Very good. Just remember Jesus Christ's own words, my people perish for lack of knowledge. You are under a duty to educate yourself. You're under a duty to educate your children. You're under a duty um, by God to educate the people around you. For, to make their lives better in any way that you can. And if you're ignorant and you don't know um, <clears throat> the law, you're going to jail. Yeah. And or you're also, going to you're going to pay the ransom to some attorney to keep you out of jail. And also, if you but know, you're going to lose your house. If you do not know your rights, you have no rights. That's the bottom line. Right. You know, and that, don't give up the First Amendment and the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. And all like the other amendments. All the other amendments we need to fight for. Listen, right. another thing I want to tell you. Um, now it, you have 60 days before the finals days of the campaign, the, the deadline. Any special event, any special thing you're going to do to try to maybe, I don't know, try to reach out to the Democrats out there? How can you reach well, out? What I've been doing is um, planning on hitting the um, news media with uh, some very serious ads saying what you and I are talking about for two years. And I have to do it in a quarter page, full color, and that's going to be it. How much? And I'm going to ask people to make the choice um, in their head, um, you know, what, what they want for their future. If they like what's going on, 
don't vote for me. If you want to lose your 401k, because that's going to be the bank buy-ins now. That's yeah. where they're looking next. Yeah. You know what I mean? The housing market, they pretty much clobbered it. Now, that the only thing left is, oh, that big 401k pension fund, and watch them start taxing it. Yeah. By the way, in Europe, in Europe, they already did. That's what they're doing now in many countries. Europe, they are completely as uh, the government controls your retirement. That's the way they also gonna get the rest or whatever it's left of us. Listen, Ronald, thank you very much. I pray. I just pray. All I can say, pray that the American people and the people of the state of California, at least in your district, they will think with their own brain, and we will not. They will not follow any party. That's the bottom line. And at the end, you know, you're doing your best. No matter what, I'm always proud of you. That's all I can say. Uh, listen, guys, as I said, uh, this show, it is an act of love, but still time and energy and also time that I take from other things I do for a living. You know, I, I work for a living. I create things and takes time. You know, a time that I also take away from my family, from my life. And as a... Uh, uh, you know, Ronald was saying, I do it pretty much by myself, everything. Finding the guests, producing it, recording it, editing it, uploading it, promoting it, everything. It takes me a lot of time. And time okay, is money. One thing, I, one thing, Zana, oh, go I ahead. was going to say this and I forgot. Sorry, go ahead. We have um, 60 please, seconds. Please, please, thank you. I, I, I just forgot. Because while I have the chance, I want to find a lot. Anybody got a lot that I can buy um, that I can go ahead and uh, start building a house on in Arizona? Um, just... Okay. Um, let me know. Um, well, we can I don't help have you a out. A lot of money, but I, I'd like to get a couple acres. Okay, you know, like three or four acres. You're talking to the right You're person here. Uh, I got some acres, some land. I can show it to you. You need to come here. I'll show you in person. Okay. I'll be on my way this weekend. Oh, you know I what? really do. I'm going to plan to uh, get a place out there anyway, no matter what I do. Very good. Stay senator or not. Excellent. Excellent. Let's be in touch then after the show. Listen, as I was saying, guys, please go to lovegansfreedom.com. You can find the website of Ronald O'Donnell. You can find information. Also, you can find a way you can support the show. As I said, there are different ways. One way you can do it, there is zannacoffee.com. Go to www.zannacoffee.com. There is a special. You can get the three bags of different blends, the 1776 Coffee to Brew Revolution, the Route 66 Coffee, and of course, the Straight Shot Espresso, all, all beans, organic, GMO-free coffee. It is a special going on for $29. And on all, not only you get great coffee that you would drink anyway, you also support the, this operation. Thank you very much. Now, ready for our number two, we have incredible, uh, great news. I always try to bring you productive and practical things to try to learn, to try to improve ourselves. So don't go away. You're listening to Love, Guns, and Freedom. And then we have a final hour, very interesting final hour, something that you may love. You know, there is a way you can make a living if you have a little bit of time and experience. It's called prospecting gold, especially in this part of Arizona. You can find a way to also pay some bills and be free. So don't miss the show. You're listening to Love, Guns, and Freedom with Luca Zanna. Ready for our number two and then incredible hour number three. Don't go away.